Hello and uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, let's hope Hello. that this time YouTube wasn't as bad and uh, this is actually working. So um, this is the live stream for the 0.4.3.1 release. I'm Hyrlainen, uh, the lead programmer, and uh, in voice chat we only have this time Uniov who is the art team lead and then I guess we have Krotnu in text chat who is a programmer yes. so yeah this time we didn't have any or like uh, this release was basically because if you haven't heard like we are uh, switching to Godot engine and I'm going to pronounce it that way some people might disagree but anyway so uh, because we are going to redo the entire game we wanted to do uh, a release of the stuff that was uh, done in the past few months on the uh, on the previous version so this is a bit smaller release with a few new features and some fixes and uh, some pretty critical bugs in it so but don't don't uh, report those because they are not relevant when when the new version uh, will be done um, anyway so uh, I think that's about about it the release and then uh, I think I should mention that uh, I have set up a Patreon and uh, you can now actually support the game that way if you don't have game development skills or skills about promoting the game uh, that should be linked in the uh, dev blog and uh, this time uh, I asked the patrons, the VIP supporters for uh, pre-stream questions, but uh, we didn't get any. So this time we are just going to like answer the stream chat and this is probably going to be like the shortest live stream because we didn't get many people here. Could you link the questions? Uh, sorry? Uh, could you link the questions in uh, text channel? Uh, uh, they aren't public. I mean, I'm looking at it right now on Patreon because like none of the oh. VIP supporters joined our forums before like a few days ago. So I asked there, but no one has uh, commented there. So I guess they uh, didn't feel yet ready to ask any questions. Mm -hmm. So we don't have any any restream questions this time. Anyway, uh, I'll post the Patreon link. And uh, yeah, uh, I should mention that uh, I'm, I'm the one like doing the Patreon right now and uh, with the hope that in the future we'll figure out how to set, set up a non-profit because well, that isn't like the easiest thing because we have to like write our rules and fill out forms and pay a bunch of fees and uh, we might actually for setting up in Finland we might actually need two people in Finland or like a special permission from somewhere so like it isn't isn't super simple so for now uh, I'm personally running it and uh, if if it reaches like five hundred dollars a month, then I'll be able to work on drive part time 
I have a part-time software development job. Currently, I could quit that and uh, work on Thrive instead. Uh, if the Patreon goes well. Uh, and uh, I think that's about like the general announcement stuff. And uh, maybe I could like show the really bad bugs in 0.4.1. No, no, not point four point three point one. I think. It's probably going to be really loud again. But anyway, like I think the mass capture should work now. So anyway, as you can see, like the uh, the hexes in the editor don't actually line up with the mouse, and this causes all kinds of issues. Like you have limited build space here, and uh, when you go into the game, then like the uh, compass under the cursor are actually wrong. So here's like the menu feature, I think, which is that all the cell wall types have now like actual effects. So they now, instead of being just visual stuff, uh, they as well like affect the Yeah, here's, here's again the mouse offset issue. So anyway, because of these issues, like trying to change the new graphics engine and the current one, like not working for people with Intel graphics and the GUI being a bit slow because it is uh, a web, like a web browser renders this so so we decided to switch to Godot and basically have to redo the entire game so it's going to be a lot of work so uh, if you know someone who knows Godot development or C sharp and didn't want to join before because of the engine or C++ now now's the chance to tell those people to join so so that was the gameplay presentation. And uh, I think that's about what we could have planned for this stream. So I suppose now, now it's time to like talk about random stuff. Hope more people show up. And answer the stream chat. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm. I'm not sure. This might be like the OBS bug again, where the mic input is like uh, choppy for me for some reason. Just OBS uh, causes some issues. I I didn't like do a test recording this time and listen back to it. Maybe I should have. Yeah, I, I guess we'll find out when watching back the stream if there's an actual problem or if it just sounds like this. Well, yeah, I, I suppose so. So uh, I saw a question that do you think some old devs would come back if they know about Godot? And uh, I'm going to say maybe, but like uh, we've tried contacting people in the past, and many people 
are on our Discord, so unless they are, have like uh, block notifications, like they're going to get like these stream announcements and stuff, but like they haven't uh, decided to uh, come back. I, I can't like really do anything about the audio other than like turning down my mic if that helps. I did that. Before like in the past like the mic issues like I had to like uh, jump between different OBS versions and recompiling a bunch and testing them and I found one that like works pretty well. And I, I used that in the past, but today I updated to 24.0.5. Uh, next question. Uh, is the next version going to be 0.4.4 or 0.5.0? It shouldn't shouldn't be muted. I should. Yeah, I I should have made a test recording first. Oh, wow, this OBS version is total garbage. Don't use twenty five. No, uh, twenty four. Uh, yeah, I I would have to like stop the stream. Okay, well, I, I guess let's stop the stream and I'll see about speeds in the OBS version. Okay, let's try again. Streaming, maybe it's live again in the same. Same live stream. Hello. Does the audio work now without being like really terrible or is that still the case? Mm -hmm. Or was it good at the start and it turned bad afterwards? Can you hear me? Oh, nice. Okay, so so the lesson here is that you must use Hello. OBS version 23, not 24. 24 is completely garbage, don't use it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, maybe stream is saved now. Other than the fact that like we didn't get many people here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Moon Moon Router in the chat knows what's up. Um Another question, like, how is the engine change going? And the uh, second part it will take a long time, it's a question. And uh, the answer to that question is that it is going to take a long time uh, if we don't suddenly get like five new programmers to do it. And uh, other than that, I think it's progressing pretty well. We had some contributions from Grotnu and Kasterisk and I think Gato as well. So, I mean, if they keep the uh, contributions going, I think it's going to speed up things quite a bit. Because otherwise I'll have to do everything myself. Well, it's cool that I can uh, work on shaders myself now. It that will definitely speed up and the graphics will improve, hopefully. 
Yeah, ho hopefully like the... Oh, and Discord is gone. So, I think it's <laughs> just you and me, stream chat. Let's see if we can get Discord back. And are we back? Uh, I think I my think disc I, I think think my Discord crashed or something. Oh. Yeah, that's that's never like yeah. happened before. Well, this is quite a legendary stream. Yeah, we didn't get like any of the previous stream hosts who are really good at what they do. Here. But we got some firm questions. At least. We should have made Grotnut the host. And added like a text to speech or something. Also we forgot to use like the background music bot again. But, uh, yeah, uh, initially I didn't even like want to do this stream. I don't think anybody wanted it. Well, but it, it was suggested to like uh, talk about like the mm -hmm. Patreon and the new new plans, plans to change the engine, which is uh, to recap. The reason is that. Uh, People with like only Intel integrated graphics can't play the uh, the BSF oh uh, my God. version Hello. at all. Hey, text on the screen that can speak. Hello, have you come to save the stream? We need help. Need more programmers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we need more professional stream hosts. If you watch the stream, is there any questions? I was trying to answer the question of why the engine Actually, changed. Psych says hi, so it is uh, February 31st. Moon Trooper, hello everyone. Yes, I'm famous. Our music would be nice. Disturbance needs help. It is disturbed. Indeed. Oh, we could talk about how our progress on the Dota switch. I, I, I think I'll answer like the background question about why they changed. Uh, the first part is the Intel graphics issues, and the second is that the GUI system used, used like a background browser for rendering, so that was also pretty slow. And uh, there were also some random crashes. Uh, inside the graphics engine. So first we want, I wanted to change to a new graphics engine. Uh, but after attempting that like for three weeks, I, uh, I just had to say that I don't know enough about uh, projection and view matrices to figure out the math needed to make it work. So I had to give up on that. And uh, after that, like the choice that there are no good open source uh, rendering engines, so we need to go with a full engine. And uh, Godot is basically the leading open source engine. So that was pretty easy choice. So yeah, that's that's why we are changing. And uh, there already was a test build on the community forums. It had some basic graphic stuff 
in it just to test that uh, people can run it without crashing and so far it seems that only one people had some uh, or one person have had a crash but we didn't like get the log output from them so I don't know why it crashed but it seems uh, much better and we also have 32-bit versions and a Mac version as long as we don't need native code modules and can do everything with C sharp in Godot. And uh, after that, uh, I've been just converting some of the C code as well as making some of the game systems work. So, like the compound clouds and movement and cell spawning, kind of, are, are in the Godot version now, but like. There's just a ton of stuff, like one of the huge parts are like the organelle handling a collision model updating for the cells and the membranes matching the organelles. So, as I, as I said uh, in like the post announcing the change that this is going to be a huge amount of work. Compound clouds, I think were one of those classic roadblocks in our developments, right? Is, uh, are, are they like, how are they rendered? Uh, so are you asking like the technical details on how the clouds work or? Uh, the clouds, it, is it just, you iterate over the entire screen and change the transparency based on the concentration? Uh, that is kind of like how they work. Basically, right now it works so that like there are uh, like cloud entities that are placed in the world and each cloud entity covers uh, 200 by 200 volt units and it can have four compound types in it. So right now there are five cloud types so uh, each of like nine grid locations around the player has two cloud entities and in those there are like the uh, concentration values as like huge arrays of numbers and those are basically turned into pixel values uploaded to the GPU and then uh, the shader reads those values and applies the color based on that and then all of the layers are added to together and the separate clouds are uh, blended then. Uh, and Discord just bit on me again. What's up on your end? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure, like, for some reason Discord is quitting all the time. Like, this has, has not happened before. Are, are you using, like, the app or like, the browser or on your phone? I've got the desktop app. Like, I think over the past, like, two years I've had, like, one Discord crash before this day, so... I don't know what's up with this. So, the stream question, February 31st, will the behavior tab going to be implemented soon? Uh, not a priority. Maybe, maybe if you encourage Untrusted Life to come back, once we have enough features in the Godot version to, uh, for him to be able to work on that, he might come back and do that. Are you trying to convert over his old AI code? Uh, I haven't decided on the AI yet. I, I hope someone else will write it. Because I haven't written the AI even once because Untrusted Life did it before, so... Uh, I would either have to try to do a one-to-one -one conversion or... or read about it enough to understand how to... Uh, do it maybe in 
more Godot supported way if there's like inbuilt AI decision trees or something. Antrust had left because he wanted to focus on his other life stuff. It wasn't like a dra anything dramatic. Just wanted to leave. Uh, yeah, there's another like game development Discord where he posts quite often about. Uh, I think it's Rogue Legends, uh, a game he is working on. So yeah, basically he wanted to work on other projects than Drive. And uh, yeah, hopefully the now released version is much more balanced and easier to play because like the previous version released last December like we didn't have anyone to like do balancing on it we just release it without doing proper balancing uh, for the AI uh, I think I would maybe want to like do it like some kind of state machine or uh, decision tree thing I think it's currently uh, a state machine base, but doesn't have a bunch of abstraction in it. It's, it has a bunch of quite long methods and they do a bunch of stuff. So I don't like really understand what's going on because I haven't bothered uh, looking into the AI behavior. I remember there be, being four values for the AI, like fear, focus, Remember the other two. Possibly gluttony. Aggressiveness was one of them. And uh, yeah, they are still in the released version. And they govern how easily the AI switches to different behaviors. It's not bad for something very simple. Small little things in the cell stream. Yeah, the AI is probably one of the bigger parts to convert over to Godot. It does quite a bit of good stuff in it. We have life without uh, the, the moving around. Can you repeat that? I have life without stuff moving around. I can understand what you're saying. You can't have life if the stuff's swimming around. Yeah. I go somewhere. Dressed up, nowhere to go. Like check Psych here asking the real question. Uh, have the forums hit a dead end and uh, it seems like the community forums are really slow going right now maybe maybe we can blame school for that okay let's answer this one what game are you guys the most excited for 2020 I am for Cyberpunk, definitely. I don't, I don't think I know a lot of games that are coming out this year, but I've been waiting for Cyberpunk for a long time. I'm very excited for it. So, I, I know that Cyberpunk has very defined aesthetic, but what's, what's the game about? It's a it's a very big RPG, so there pro there's probably like a main storyline and also some side quests, and you just do stuff in a city. Just do stuff. Mhm. 
I, I'm not. I, again, I, I also haven't been looking into too many games, but I, I've gotten into Dungeons and Dragons. Easy. I have way too many games in my backlog to uh, really like look forward to like new releases. But like I, I agree with Grotno that like Mountain Blade Banner Lord if it came out I would buy it. Uh, oh, a lot of people are stuck at home so good time to work on that backlog. Well, I have Thrive to work on, so... True. I, I don't play games that much. Because, like, most of the effort, like, I put into stuff is for school or Thrive-related. Dedicated. Moon Trooper asks, I don't know if I got an answer to my question on the effects of cell walls. What was the question then? I forgot. The question was that what are the effects of the different membrane types and basically if I remember correctly like the your movement speed, your health, your compound absorption rate and uh, maybe the Osmo regulation cost are different per uh, for the different membrane types. So those are the uh, differences. Like with some, nice. some having movement penalty and more health, and some some uh, costing more osmo regulation and having lower health or something like that. And there's a question about what a what about the other writing meme or slash art thrive contest? And uh, Oliver is hosting most of them, so I don't know if he'll do any more of these. I can ask him later, or maybe I can host some if that will be really uh, asked for. And also, are vacations good to the development? Definitely. For free time. Yeah, more more free time equals uh, more energy to work on Thrive. Here's a good question on how finished is the microbe stage in percentage. So, uh, because we are starting over in Godot, I can say that uh, it's one percent done because we have movement, uh, really basic collision, compound clouds moving about, and uh, uh, to me, uh, station, stational cells spawned. So, like, it's li missing all the features. Also, our all the types of cell walls from real life examples. I'm pretty sure that yeah, they're all like uh, taken from real life microbes and from what we know about membranes. There aren't any very recent uh, uh, concepts of UI, but in the future I might try um, animating them in Godot to see how easy or possible it is. Yeah, we need to do some UI testing in Godot. Because like like it looks fine at the like the default resolution, but when scaling up like the button stays small, so like we have to figure out how to properly scale the UI. And uh, maybe at the same time we can put in the new look. And uh, I hope with Godot it would be possible for like artists or, or UI designers to like modify the GUI. But just 
recently like some tests toward trying to have like good scaling in the UI. Turned out that it's actually pretty hard to get it working in Godot, so maybe we'll have to come up with it some uh, some way to force Godot Godot GUI system to do what we want. Are there any features you think will be easier to code in, in the new engine than in the old one? Definitely graphics, because uh, Godot has a... Um, you can visually program shaders in Godot and preview them way easier. Yeah, it definitely so, yeah. helps, for example, if we want to add some lens distortions or chromatic aberration, I think those will be uh, much easier to make in Godot, and there might be some pre-made uh, examples. Krodno is saying that the physics is, is going to be easier, but okay, maybe, maybe, but like with like the latest Leviathan physics using bullet, like I think they, I made them pretty bulletproof because like the object destruction order and stuff like that were pretty difficult with bullet like if you uh, like if you uh, created some objects and you didn't like delete them properly then the physics uh, completely broke so with a nice wrapper the bullet physics library is nicer to use but like overall uh, some things are pretty or are easier because like now it's possible to uh, run all of the game in a debugger so because before like there wasn't like angel script debugging so it's going to be a bit easier and hopefully uh, using C sharp won't uh, scare away people but I will still uh, hang on to some good practices for the code so I won't accept garbage even with C sharp. Uh, there is like no no planned release for the uh, Godot version. Uh, I was thinking that once it's uh, about feature parity, so most of the old stuff is working, then we'll go into like merge it into the master branch and maybe make a release then or at least some kind of the uh, test build publicly. And then once it's like mostly mostly working and polished, we'll make a proper release with the Godot version. Or maybe earlier. Uh, I don't know how broken version people would wa want to play. Uh, then Try Fan Central asks about uh, low skill programmers in the team. Uh, uh, I, I think that like once uh, most of the like the major features are put in and working, it will be easy ish to make some features like some or some bug fixes might be just finding the right place and changing a few lines around. So like those those kind of tasks are, I think, suitable for uh, more beginner pro programmers, but like currently the Godot version is so raw and missing so much stuff that might actually be not possible to, for like low skill programmers to like help out much, but I think that in like a month, uh, much more of the game will be in Godot and it will be easier to work on some like cringe areas uh, of the game. So I think there's definitely some uh, some space for like more beginner uh, programmers on the team. Oh yeah, yeah, and balancing 
and balancing stuff is like pretty easy like I guess it's time to uh, plug joining the team so if you can join the team you can help us make the game and as well like I now have a Patreon for Thrive so you can also help there if you cannot like program or do any other kind of game development. Goodbye everyone. So I guess it's just me talking left. So is that everything we're supposed to do? Well, we covered what we were supposed to do, like in the first 15 minutes, but... Yeah. I'm, I'm not seeing, like, any new questions in the chat either. This time we didn't even, like, reach uh, good concurrent viewers, and because the theme restart, we lost a bunch of viewers. So, I mean, this was pretty bad stream. Yeah. Look, hopefully next time we'll have more programmers here on the voice chat. So it wouldn't be and so cursed. Yeah, we, we should like book Oliver like two weeks in advance or something. Mm. That would help. Maybe we should like uh, post a job ad for professional stream hosts. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Dedicated uh, team member just for doing the streams. Okay, there's uh, one more question. Uh, any hats coming? And. Uh, Maybe once we get to the aware stage, or the awakening stage, uh, then we'll add some hats for the creatures to wear. Okay, maybe maybe we could end the stream. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, this, this will be mm. like the so shorter kind of stream, because it didn't turn out very good, so... Let's now we don't it. only need programmers, we also are looking for a professional stream manager, so please yes. contact us. Oh, uh, goodbye everyone. Yeah, that, that's it for this uh, pretty messed up stream, more so than normal, so bye everyone.